Yo, what's up? Of course, it's me, Doc. And if you are subscribed to us here at Sample Kings inside of YouTube, you already saw my video that was sent to you that says, hey, look, there's a new update for the NPC. If you are not subscribed, I suggest you do because we're always on the case with what the update's doing and when is it coming out. And so I just got hit with a message. So here's the big deal. They fixed up some problems and they added one device I like a lot. So I got problems too. I'm not a star boy. I'm not a fanboy. I'm not always going around saying, oh, they're the best company in the world. Everybody got problems. We're all human, right? So for example, this is my problem. And I'll, I'll show you this pretty much. This is it right here. I can come to here and I can see the drop down menu for the number of sequences I have in the software. I can come to here and I can see the number of tracks in that sequence, which is cool. Now, if I go to full mode here, right? I'm full screen mode. I want to come and see the sequence. I want to change my sequence. I come to here. I can't do that. It won't let me. I can come here to the tracks. I'll click here. I can't see the tracks. Nothing. I can see the drop down menu here for programs, but no drop down menu for tracks and sequences. But if I go back up here, and I leave full screen mode, and I come here, I click right here, guess what? It's right there. Wait a minute, what about the tracks? Guess what? It's right there. Okay, so I've got everything locked in here, and I wanna talk about this update and how it works or how you can get it if you can't see the latest updates. So you wanna come to here inside of our NPC, I'm on a Mac, and go to preferences. Now once I get in preferences, I wanna go to activate plugins now you should see the latest plugins that will appear here but well, this one for me was the update of the mini d all right and i believe that's everywhere so it's a pretty cool plugin and since any music brands bought moog well they can do it now they can make it sound like moog i guess but it sounds really good but if you don't see it you come here to plugins and you should probably rescan or go for a new scan so i did a rescan like I'll come to here, rescan everything in my machine, and once it gets here, it'll populate a list of all the available plugins. It will check them out. It's gonna say, this is good, this one crashed right here. This one just crashed right there. And it says, that's bad, we don't like that one. It crashed, so I have no idea which one that is, but I do now. So some will crash. In some cases, I do not know what happens on your machine, but I have a lot of plugins, and I've cleaned out several ones I didn't like after a while, but you'll see what happens. But the point here is to have your MPC software rescan for any plugins that you did not download or were not download loaded during the process of upgrading. So, an update seems pretty cool. This takes a while too. It's a pretty long list only because I have a lot of plugins and I got a lot of softwares. I've got like ridiculous amount of softwares. Like for example here, what do we got here? I got MPC, I got MPC Beats. In Music Brands Software Center is great. You must have this. This will remember everything you've got. Of course, I got the SP404 stuff. We got Pro Tools, we got Live. We have Machine, of course, Native Instruments. And we have Logic Pro, FL Studio, Wave Plugins. This is ridiculous stuff. I also have Final Cut Pro, which I used to do video editing. So I've got a lot of different plugins in all these different audio and video applications. So make sure you've got everything locked in. You know what you're going to use and know what you are using, but it's always good to rescan. Now, this is one more. Here's one more right here. What's this one here? Okay, same company. Okay, that's the earlier version that was for Pro Tools, and that is the earlier Air technology stuff. And now we're still scanning here. This may take a while. So of course I will stop it. And once it's ended, I'll see what happens at the end and we'll go from there. And here we go, it's ended. Scan is complete. So we're done, it scanned everything. Of course, I will see all my plugins right here. And the Mini D is the newest one I like. So I'll press okay. So now this is my Mini D. All right, 
and it ain't really a mini, but this is the mini D right here. And so as you can see, I got bass guitar. It says right there, bass guitar, obviously, right? And so this is the new mini D. They improved it a lot. I like it a lot, but let me stop talking about it. I got a track. That bass sounds nice. I got some new files I'm playing right here. Turn it up some. And you can hear that. The, the flavor's there, the bass is there, the change of the notes with the MIDI, and also with the sort of LFO going on there, low frequency oscillation, and of course, a little bit of the um, mod wheel and the bending. That's kind of cool too. It's pretty, it's really cool. So I got some more stuff here I want to show you. You can find other stuff. I'm going to pull something I've, I've done some preparation for a little bit. And what we got here? Oh, this is a, a famous song. Let's go with something else we got here. Let's work out with, uh, here we go. Let's do this one right here. Right there, <laughs> they did it for you, right? You come right here, it's a doggy farm. Shaping here with the pitch. The triangle forming. It's shaping the wave. As you can see the mods aren't on. The oscillator right here. One is on. funk in there. And on the filter section, I can get more resonance. I'm getting into this thing. So look, if you get this bad boy, I like it a lot. Check it out. Pull up some mini files you might like, you know, and start doing stuff with it. Get an idea of the bases you like. Find a mini file, do some work with it, but it's really kind of fun. I love that mini D. What else has happened here? What I want to see is actually more updates for the software, for the plugins like EQ and like chorusing. They need to be seen as you used to see in the uh, Fab Filter EQs. They got some great EQs, but they've got to step it up to that point. I hope they do, but you never know. I mean, I probably can't afford it. Probably got to keep it going on where they're doing it. I can't really chide them for that they're doing a great job the best they can do and it's mpc hell it's been around for 35 years it's incredible i wish i made a device and the only device i made sold as much as this one did it's an amazing company to do that but any questions hit me up in the bottom i will talk about it of course next i'm going to do the hardware version i want to put this software version up for my software friends out there but i'm also hardcore you know what i mean so i'm gonna do the hardware next and i'll see you in the next video Leave a like at the bottom, please subscribe, and please order some video downloads. We got dope videos, of course, for the MPC Live, the MPC One, the MPC X, instructional videos over four or five hours long. It's only 10 bucks, or 11 bucks, for one video. 
please help support us. We're doing the best we can, so please show us some love. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.